The light rail construction is one of the biggest projects that has ever been undertaken in the state of Minnesota. Construction in and of itself has been disruptive, dusty, dirty, making people have to drive ways that they didn't expect to, impacting small businesses. One of the things that we wanted to make sure was that people understood that this was going to be a benefit for them. They knew that their communities were going to change, but nobody knows exactly how. And we are trying to empower communities to shape that change, to see this as an asset uh, being built in their communities. And so Irrigate came to us as a gift, as an initiative, as a group of people who understood much better than any of us could have how the arts might support uh, and be inspired by and inspire the work of community development on the corridor. It is connecting artists with businesses and saying to businesses, we know you're under stress, maybe there's a way we can help. Some have used performance arts as a way of bringing customers in the door. Some have used arts as a way of creating new signage or an attraction to identify their business. Some have used them to just have people say, what's going on there, and just stand out from all the rest. And I expect there's dozens of ways that I haven't even heard of yet. Irrigate has brought them together to experience each other and get to know each other in a way that wasn't happening before. People felt good about what was happening on the corridor. It wasn't happening to them, it was happening with them, and they were a part of the future of the corridor. People want to go to places that they know people care about, uh, that they know has a creative vibe to it, and that's what Irrigate is helping us do along the Central Corridor. There's something about just doing it. I think Irrigate was remarkable in it. Somebody had an idea, somebody found the resources, and then they just, you know, went for it. In a project that has had to be so carefully planned, it's been wonderful to have that spontaneity. Cities are full of rules, right? We have zoning requirements and building setbacks and curb heights and you name it. There's a, a rule for just about everything. And creative thinkers think outside those rules. Artists think outside those rules. If an artist wanted to do a performance piece in, a, in an abandoned parking lot, how do we cut through the sort of process to make sure that this goes smoothly and, and, and works the way it needs to work? I think that the mayor's commitment early on to this project really established a framework for everybody who was involved in it that said, creativity and artistic thought is important to me and it's important to the city and this line won't thrive without it. It helps the Irrigate team know that they've got a freedom to pursue bold ideas, big ideas, fresh ideas, and, and know that, that our initial response will be yes and. Yes and here's how we make it work. Having someone walk in the door and say, how can I help, and, and not be from the government, um, has been a, a real gift to the community. But now we've got coffee shops or restaurants or businesses coming back saying, you know, before my annual revenue for this time period was X, now it's X plus 10, 15, 20 percent. And now they're actually relying on that. They're relying on the creative community to be a part of their success. not only got a line that moved people from downtown St. Paul to downtown Minneapolis, but built a community along that line. That built a community that actually worked for the people that lived in the community, the people that had invested in that community. I think it's electrifying, and I think it will transform St. Paul in ways that we can't even imagine.